Hi everybody, my name is Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. And we are the Yahua and the Torah YouTube channel. We're also on Rumble. I'm a shout out to everybody on Rumble. We have quite a few people on Rumble that watch us. So much love to you guys out there. To the no people on Odyssey that watch us, if you ever do watch us, much love to you guys out there as well. Um, that is the platforms you guys will find us on and we are all over there. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Good. What's the scoop? What are you guys up to? Um, Bible proofing. Still Bible proofing. So Jade, you were on the farm, you got released from the Bible project, and then you got pulled back into the Bible project, and now you're stuck at your desk reading and reading and reading. Why did that happen? Um, because you get the project done and everyone needs help. Yeah, well, we have to get it over to the, the India. The Bible printers in India wanted this, wanted the final copy before um, December, <clears throat> where they are going to be printing this up in India. And so we are on a mad rush to make it through the Apocrypha, and we're doing line by line. Mr. Eli, you are reading what book? I'm reading Jasher. Jasher. How are you doing with that, buddy? It's 155,000 words. It's 1 14th of the entire scriptures all put together. It is so meaty. It has so many names. It is so rough. You've been on this about 10 days, it seems. And you yep. only have, like, how many chapters? 30. 30 chapters. Guys, that's rough. That's really rough. All right, um, Mr. Cade. What are you reading? Um, I'm just a graphic designer. He's a graphic designer, so he's not reading anything. I am reading um, right now in the Book of Jubilees, I'm into chapter 21, and we're 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 running through this. We're going very very quickly, <clears throat> and let me tell you guys, I just did a video on the size of Yah's scriptures, and I've told you guys it was all huge. It's over a little over four inches as the uh, size of the book on the size. And so, Mr. Cole is um, working this, getting this down as many lower pages as possible. We're about 4,000 pages. Now, guys, this is large print. This is, no, this is no shifty little scriptures. This is not something that you will have to have a magnifying glass to read. Hopefully, in your old age, hopefully in our aging times, when our eyes are weakening, which my eyes have completely weakened, um, I can't see the regular scriptures that are out there, but I can see this because it is a 14.5 font bigger than all the other large print stuff out there. And because we had to add an extra thousand pages to it, unfortunately, we are going to have to bring this up a couple of dollars. So for today and tomorrow, we are it's still on pre-order. You can still get it for $59. We will leave it at $59. But um, as before the end of this week, once we finalize the prices in India, we're going to have to adjust it for the extra thousand pages that are going in there. And it's probably up another three or four bucks. I want to keep it under $60. I did everything possible to keep it under $60. I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, it, it's just a very, very large book, guys. 103 books. This is what you get in them. The complete, restored names, scriptures of everything. It is a work of love. This is the very best translation you will ever find anywhere. Guaranteed. Without a shadow of a doubt. There's been so much proofreading, so much done. The ISR did not do this to them. The Holy Scriptures did not do this to them. We have taken years and years and years of productions and put them and put probably close to 100,000 hours in it. I haven't, I don't know if it's 100,000. I don't know if it's over 100,000, but we lost count a long, long time ago at manpower into this. And it has all been a work of love. And there has been a tremendous amount of people that are working on this. So guys, if you want to get this, these are your last chance of getting it at 59 bucks. Um, it's not much of a savings, but we will, you know, it's going to go probably up to 64 bucks in a couple of days once we figure this out. Now, for anybody who can't afford this and don't want, need, can't at all and don't want to, it doesn't matter because you guys can grab the free PDFs. This same giant book that is available um, very, very soon is available right now in this PDF. You can get the Yah Scripture, single column, the 66 books right here. Links are always in the description. And the Apocrypha is at the bottom. So this is a, great, a fantastic deal. These are limited edition, obviously. <clears throat> These are probably what you would call a study scriptures. They are absolutely huge and just stacked, and you will be able to read them very well. Okay, gentlemen, we are on chapter 136. Um, prior to this, somebody give me a quick recap of what happened yesterday. Make it happen. All right, so yesterday we had um, uh, Ishmael and Isaac are talking. Isaac is now 37 years old. He's a grown man. His brother's about 50 years old. And they're talking, and they're talking about how he, who was more righteous, who was the better person. And Isaac goes, if I, if I came to it, I would, I would be ready to be a sacrifice for Yahuwah. And Satan took that one to Yah and uh, offered and told him that he should sacrifice his son to show if he's really his, Abraham really a true person. So now Abraham had to technically lie to Sarah and tell him that he was going to take him to Shem in the city of Shalom and have him raised up there. 
he said that uh, it would be an intelligent sacrifice. So uh, she's really sad because Isaac always been with her for the last 37 years. It's her, it's her only son. So now he is going to get sacrificed and she doesn't know. Yeah, and one thing that we brought up yesterday um, is that uh, prior to this, we, th- we thought it was a little weird, right? We, they, uh, Sarah's like, 100, how old is she? 127. 127 years old, and um, Isaac sleeps in the same bed with her. And we thought that was a little weird. And I'd like to, um, uh, McDuck, I think, is it McDuck? It said something about Mc, this. Duck Gobbler or something that's like that, McDuck Gobbler. I, I don't know. I, I have a hard time with the name. Maybe I'll sit down and study the name one day. But he was talking about how King David, when he was cold as an old man, right? Remember what they did? They didn't yeah, just, they, they found a young woman. <laughs> like, she's like, sit with him. They did, hold him. They, yeah, they didn't find blankets. They found the extra woman, right? They and tried so, blankets. They couldn't get it warm. He, he couldn't stay warm. And so at that age. I don't um, even know if he got warm. Did he get warm? With I, I, warm? They never said about it, but I'm pretty sure he did. He's just happy. Yeah. <laughs> he was warm. <laughs> he was holding his old age. Had this really young gal hanging out with him. Um, yeah, so that is probably a, a very interesting um, thought, is that maybe she, being at 127 or whatever, she has uh, really, really bad circulation, so uh, the kid is in there to help out with that or something of sort. I don't know. But that, we were just thinking of it. So here we go. Ready? 136, and so that is our book that we just got an alert for, that we just did on there. So, guys, watch that video. Um, it is an amazing book that's coming out. I believe that they will get snatched up and ordered up very quickly because there's zero, there's nothing on the market like this. It does not exist, this Yah's scriptures at all. Okay, 136. And Yitchak slept with us that night, and Sarah kissed him. Did I, is it, do we already do this one? I thought so, but the more you read it, it's different. I don't remember any of the rest of it. All right, there you go. And Yitchak slept with us that night, and Sarah kissed and embraced him and instructed him until morning. And she said to him, Oh, my son, how can my soul separate itself from thee? And she still kissed and embraced him until the time of preparation had come. Then Sarah took a beautiful and costly robe from among those which Ablamach had given her. For Ablamach had loved Sarah greatly and had given her many precious things. But this love toward her was pure in the sight of Elohim and according to the laws of the Shamaim. With this robe, which had never been worn, Sarah clothed the Yitchek and put a turban upon his head, in which she wrapped a precious stone. And she said unto him, Even the stone art thou precious unto me, my son. Nevertheless, I would have thee so conduct thy life, that when Yahuwah shall come to gather up his jewels, thou wilt be among the number. Thus, taking provisions for our journey, we started out, and Sarah and others and our, of our people accompanied us on the road. And when the time of parting had arrived, Sarah wept bitterly, and I also wept with her, as did Yitchak, our son, and those who accompanied us. And Sarah caught hold of Yitchak and held him in her arms, and embraced him, and kissed him, and wept over him. And Sarah said unto him, Who knoweth if after this day I shall ever see thee again? Nevertheless, our hope is in Yahuwah, in whom is life. Therefore, if I see thee not again in this veil of tears, yet surely we shall again embrace before the throne of Elohim. Elohim barak thee, my son, and keep thee secure in his ways, and I will be close to thee all thy days. So saying, Sarah kissed Yitchak again and turned back to the camp with all who had accompanied us. Now, <clears throat> this is some interesting stuff. I like to take good stuff out of scriptures that we don't know. And for those of us who have lost humans, for those of us who have lost people along the way, I guess who are probably Torah keepers, there is hope, Right. Because her hope was that she was going to find him and hug him again in front of the throne of Elohim. Right, so it seems to meet the people in the kingdom. Yeah, so if the the if this is our story as well, those of us who die that keep Torah, there is again a reuniting somewhere on the before the throne of Elohim, right? When 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 it's all said and done. And so I you know, I don't think you know, that's the thing about animals, that's the thing about humans. That our creator, I believe, if we are loyal to him and that we keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, that we are faithful to his, to his ordinances, that we are faithful to him, that when we pass over, when there is, when, whatever it is, whatever we see, my hopes is that my animals are there. But according to what we're reading right here, her hope is that she is able to see her son and able to, to give him love. And so that is some good hope for all of you guys out there that have lost those who or were in Torah who uh, are, you know, make your, make your heart cry because there, there's hope. Okay, 138. As we proceeded upon our journey, Satan came to me in the form of an aged man, humble and contrite, 
who said unto me, how, get, how canst thou think to do this unto thy son? All right, let's stop with that. Let's talk about the power that Satan has, and we know that he has power, right? Right, from Adam and Eve, you know, he kept turning to us an old man and talking to Adam. Well, to Job, let's take a look at Job. You know, Hasatan, you know, killed, it dropped a, a house on his kids, uh, festered him with sores. Killed all his animals. Killed all his animals. Uh, all of them, right? The camels are gone, the donkeys are gone, the kids are gone, the wife is gone. Well, the wife is still there, unfortunately, because she's sitting there cracking him over the skull, telling him he should just curse Yah and just die, right? And so Satan was in all of them. He was in the friends, all the friends. Who were Job's friends, Jobs? Uh, they're terrible people. Three, three day men sit around and just told him how he sinned and how he was a terrible person, how this is what he deserved for going against Yah, and they were just terrible people. Yeah, and they, they that is part of what Hasatan does. If Hasatan has the power to come to Abraham in the form of an aged man, humble and contrite, um, he can do the same to you. So we have to be aware. We have to be in our scriptures. We have to be in prayer. We have to have Yah's protection. Because if not, Hasatans are right on us. Two, <clears throat> did not Elohim give, this, give thee this son by a Kodesh conception after the order of the ancients? And dost thou think so little of this precious gift that thou wilt take his life as thou wouldst slaughter a dumb beast and thus cut off thine only hope of a royal posterity in the earth? I don't know why Hasatan calls him a dumb, bee, dumb beast dumb. Uh, I think dogs are extremely smart. I dogs think, didn't like him. Dogs, huh? dogs didn't like yeah, him. Yeah, dogs didn't like him. I think cows are extremely smart. I don't think, I mean, yes, they don't speak in our terms, and yes, they don't have the same kind of brain power that we have, but they are all absolutely brilliant in their own way. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know. But anyway, I think dumb beasts are, are not quite dumb beasts. I think they are, are qualified beasts of our creator. But I see where it's going with that. Three. What evil hast he done unto thee that thou shouldest do this thing? Dost thou not understand that this thing cannot be from Yahuwah? Behold, Yahuwah delighteth not in human sacrifice. Did he not smite the priest of Nimrod for seeking to take thy life in like manner? Surely thou shouldest repent of this thy purpose and return thy son to the bed of thy mother, of his mother, Sarah. So even Satan knew that, that uh, Isaac was, was hanging out in the same room as Sarah. He knows everything, right? Uh, so, I mean, it's they, he knows everything. Eight, but I knew that this was the word of Satan, seeking to prevent my obeying the word of Yahuwah. Wherefore, I commanded him to depart by the authority of the Kodesh Kahuna in the name of Yahuwah, and he departed from me in haste. A short time later, Satan came again, appearing to Yitchak in the form of a handsome and pleasing young man. All right, so you think if uh, Hasatan can come in the form of a handsome, pleasing young man, can he come in the form of a beautiful, pleasing young woman? Yeah, we saw that in the book of Adam and Eve when he came out of the river, and uh, he and his little uh, cronies. Yeah, his little demon friends, and they're all uh, they're all evil. They all have this kind of power. Um, yeah, and so um, if you are men of Yah, understand that uh, you can be seduced. By things such as this, and it may just be the devil himself. Or women of Yah. Yeah, women of Yah. Yeah, women of Yah, men of Yah. Don't be seduced. Don't go outside of matrimony. Don't go outside of uh, purity. If you guys are pure, do not walk out of it until your marriage day. Do not open books. Do not open the internet. Do not open your mind. Because once you see what you can see out there that is freely out there, because all this stuff is free, you can't undo it. And so you need to stay pure in all of it if you want to be with Yah. And he will take you, and he will take you with lust. He will take you with uh, human, uh, <laughs> I don't know, human, uh, I don't know. Animal lust is what Adam said in his book. So let's continue on. Um, did we do two? And he said unto Yishak, Dost thou not understand that thine own father in his foolishness bringeth thee to be slain today for no purpose? Now therefore, my brother, do not go with him. For it is the foolishness of his old age that, that doeth this. Therefore, let not thy precious life and thy beautiful body be lost from the earth in such a manner. But come with me, and I will introduce thee to the pleasures of the earth, and thou shalt take pleasure wherein, therein, all thy days. I mean, uh, the first thing they should know, because I don't think anybody knew he was going to get sacrificed except uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Yahuwah. So they should have known when someone comes up to you saying this stuff like this is this is not Yahuwah. I think Eleazar and um, Ishmael? Ishmael also knew because um, Ishmael was messing with him, and there was another book. Where's the other book? Is it Jasher that talks about it? Where Ishmael and um, 
Ishmael and Eleazar have a uh, dispute over who gets all of Abraham's stuff because they're like, well, he's going to be dead. They they assumed Jacob was going, uh, Isaac was going to be dead on this, and so they had a dispute over his stuff. And they're like, well, you know, then Eleazar's like, well, I've been with him forever, and Ishmael's like, well, I was his first son technically. So anyway, they those two, whenever they were back, knew something odd was about to happen. <coughs> Six. Um, is it, am I in six? Yes. Uh, Did I read five? No, I think, I think you're five. Did I? I think you're five. Okay. When Yitchak heard this, he saith unto me, My father, surely this is Satan come to dissuade me from obeying the word of Yahuwah. For thus doth he appear, and thus doth he say unto me. Wherefore my father rebuked him in the name of Yahuwah, that he shall cease from troubling me. For I know that thou art a servant of the Most High Elohim, and that it is to fulfill the will of Yahuwah that we are come unto this place. There's a there's some power in the name, right? There's some power in 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 Yah's name. There's power to the Torah keepers, right? Power to the Torah keepers. They have different power that others don't. Seven. Wherefore I, Abram, rebuke Satan in the name of Yahuwah, the Elohim of Noah, and the and of Shem, and he departed from us in fear. Now we're gonna do 140, and then we will end up. This will be the final chapter for today. As we continued on our journey, we entered a narrow ravine with high walls. When we were in the midst of it, we heard a mighty rumbling of the earth shook, and the earth shook beneath our feet. Looking back, we saw a great wall of water coming down upon us, bearing trees and boulders in a mighty flood. What do you think that's called? Landslide. Landslide. Yeah. Landslide, and it's a wipeout. Um, there were water. I mean, the whole thing is, is, is a washout. It just happened out of nowhere, right? My heart was moved within me for my son Yitchak, and he sought also to protect me. But raising my hands to the Shamaim, I called upon the name of Yahuwah, and Yahuwah heard me out of the Shamim and stopped the flood until we had ascended from the ravine. Thus did Satan seek to destroy us that we might not offer an acceptable sacrifice unto Yahuwah, our Elohim. But the power of our Elohim is mightier than that of Satan. Wherefore, Satan can do no harm unto the children of men except Yahuwah allow him to do it. Therefore, do all things, whether they be good or evil, work together for the good of the Kodeshim of Elohim who serve him and keep his commandments. All right. Um, what did I, I had a thought on that last thing? Satan tried to. Uh, that is the. That is that is again. I guess the the point is that the power of Yah is that he can save us from the wiles of Hasatan, and Satan is always out there. Um, he's always out there, right? But that is why we want to be in prayer with our Creator. We want to be a. Uh, we want to be somebody who's known to our Creator in all things, so that when Hasatan comes. That our Creator will protect us in these these realms, and you know these are these are our forefathers and foremothers, and all we have is a story of them. But we live in a world where the demons are far more than they were back in these days. Noah went and was able to um, take out ninety percent of them and get them get them housed, but there were still ten percent left that were fighting with the devil, <clears throat> and that is from the Book of Jubilees, and. Uh, so anyway, we're only dealing with 10% of them, but by now, you know, they have these, these, these psychopaths over at CERN who've been spinning these atoms up, opening gates and parallels for years and years and years, causing earthquakes all over the world, causing all sorts of stuff. And, and they, they've said, they've said that entities come out of the portals that they spin up. So where are they pulling these things are? Are they just infesting these lands with demons? Probably so, which is why we need to stay in prayer. So with that, guys, uh, much love to everybody out there. We love you all. We thank you guys very, very much for being a part of our family. And thank you for hanging out with us. And we have got to get to reading. And we hope that you have a wonderful day. All We're right. out. Sure.